Hey there, my name is Hall Mom, and this video is a compilation of the most magical conversation I had with a stranger playing Halo 3. It just never happens in real life. As you will see in this video, this man opens up about everything in his life, and within two hours of playing with him, it really impacted me, actually. So this is me sharing it all with you, the time I met Creepin' V2. Hello! I'm a Shiener, Shiener, my name is Holmbom. Few people in this world understand the insanity behind themselves. Fick them, big fan of your vids, keep it up, thanks you, bro. Yeah. I was like, LMFAO, you're just mad because you're bad. You deserve better. You, you better shut your mouth. I appreciate all of you. We appreciate you. Oh <laughs> uh, no! <laughs> uh, do you guys like pineapple on pizza? Hey, turn oh, yeah, the dude. fuck up. pineapple on pizza? I feel like any fruit warmed up is a mistake. Anybody pineapple on pizza is a disgrace. Oh. <laughs> Teamwork makes my kidneys work. <laughs> this is this is real life. Oh, this is Halo. You yes! Right? Okay. I was about ha to say, Halo like, is my life! Yeah, when it comes to real life, I'm like, oh wow, you're about to kill yourself? Man, there's so much to live for. And then I'm oh. like, oh man, I'm about to kill myself. And then people are like, why don't you? And I'm like, because there's so much to live for. You, so, so you're saying you have a purpose? Fuck no. <laughs> Uh, you can try, please, please do try. Nice! Very good! Do you, do you need my hand? I do. Did you load it? Oh, oh. Thanks, Sarah. Don't worry about me. I'm set for life. Yeah, there's a shotgun there, if you need it. Yeah, uh, I feel like, uh, I feel like we belong together. Yo, your gamer tag. What? What about my gamer tag? It's hobo. <laughs> Tell it to me straight. No, it's not hobo. It's what Umba. the fuck is the L and the M for? Umba. Can you guys stop arguing, please? Can I get your phone number? <laughs> You're making me blush. I wasn't talking to you. Am I third wheeling right now? Yes. Have you climbed a tree in the past two years? Yeah, actually. Have you seen ice fall before? What is that? Ice. Ice? You're yeah. Base. Check it out. <laughs> when I say apple, do you think of a fruit or the company? Yeah, the fruit. Yeah. So when I say ice, company. why do you think about the drug instead of the actual, you know? Is it is it worth going into at all or? I mean, to keep. Does that and has his whole entire life. Short and simple. I grew up watching him create drugs. That's why I think of ice every time somebody says ice. I didn't realize there was such an honest and vulnerable story behind that. I I really appreciate your vulnerability. So, h how are you today? It's shitty. Where are you from? That's a long story. Okay, where do you live? Sydney, Australia. Far, far away. Far away from home right now. You still sound Australian, though. No. No, stop it. I'm from Sweden. It's a European country. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, well... <laughs> I mean, for an American, that's probably easily mistaken because we're pretty dumb, so... Oh, uh, did you just generalize your entire country? I did. Do you consider yourself open to, to other cultures? Yeah, definitely. As a matter of fact, I, uh, I, I get along very well with, like, uh, the illegal Mexicans that come across the border. Yep. When I went to California and I got to work with all of them, it was the best Columbine. That made me work ten times harder because I was watching everyone else, like all these Mexicans that were just trying to survive. Are you saying Americans are soft? 
obviously not educated like that. How should you be educated? That's the question. I, no, I'm just saying, like, I don't know, because I believe our world leaders are our country leaders. They more focused on war and domination than they are, like, teaching us what's right from wrong. They leave out all the important details of what actually happened in, in the world. And, uh, it's not a textbook, it's not a school, it's not a college. Like, you go to school, you get lied to. Would you like school to teach you about life? I mean, wouldn't that make sense? Game over. What, 14 years of education? Wouldn't wouldn't you think that, like, in at least, like, six of those years, they would teach you about life? Instead of, you know, an, an American point of perspective, like, you spend 10 years asking for permission to go to the bathroom, right? Mm. And then you turn 18, and next thing you know, like, life hits. Like, what the fuck? Like, you have to ask to go to the bathroom, and then the next year you have to pay bills, you have to fucking buy food, everything, man. And that you didn't feel sense. fully prepared for this when fuck it hit you? No. So fuck. you're seeing a potential improvement for the system? Yeah. What the fuck are you guys talking about? I'm uh, really impressed by Creepin V2. Why? Because he's he's been on quite a journey. <laughs> you should see my Facebook. <laughs> your your Facebook? Yeah, I have a um, I have a poetry page. No. I swear to God, you know what it's called? <laughs> Tell me, please. It's called hardly poetry. What's the reason for the poetry? Poetry because I love it. I really do like the bike. Eight months ago, I finally got my first one. I have my own two different parts of my stuff. I was like, man, this shit is tight. Your own cat? Would you trade your cat f for a hundred dollars? My cat's gone. I lost my apartment and my cat. How, how come you lost both? I was also renting an apartment from him. <laughs> That's what happened. I had to take my cat to the animal shelter. Was it a tough goodbye to Mr. Kitty Cat? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, thank you. We lost the game, guys. No, no, Michelle, Michelle. We need, we need optimism right now. We can do this together. The way you do any, anything is the way you do everything. If you treat your Halo game like it's over, you're gonna treat your life like it's over. Jeez, that makes so much sense. Oh, well, my life sucks. So, back to Hardly Poetry. Is it uh, something you're looking to uh, expand on? I don't know, man. Go check it out. What does it mean? How often are you barefoot? This is the first time I've been asked how often I'm barefoot. So I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit shocked. <laughs> yeah, how often uh, are you barefoot? You, I have my boots on, like, at least 90 hours out of the week. No. I'm not even joking, man. I sleep with that shit on. Creepin, I got something for you. Right here. Behind you, brother. Look. Oh, I still need that. Thank and you so much. Maybe you... I, I, hey, the bubble is secondary. Oh, the, man, I get, appreciate it. Would you rather see a rainbow or a house on fire? A fucking rainbow? <laughs> so what's your story, Michelle? What's your passion? Oh, God. We're not going into that. First of all, I don't even know right. the color of your eyes. My eyes are green. It's just getting out of hand right now. This chick I used to live in California. <laughs> yeah. We stopped talking because of... In the last two months, all I can think about was suicide, right? And yeah. So she sent me this uh, suicide hotline, right? Yeah. I called them. And what they do? They strung up on me. Fucking suicide hotline. In uh, the middle of a conversation? Yeah, man, I was like telling him like what was going on, and then the next thing I know, that shit was just like click. I can imagine that wouldn't necessarily help. Right, that's what I thought. I would have probably been good. We dated for like six months when I moved to California, and I felt really bad. So I was like, no, I'm just going. I'm gonna stop talking to you because I'm not doing you any good. I'm just making you mad. You so you broke it up for her? Pretty much. Because yeah. you, you cared for her? 
Yeah. That's a very mature move, my man. I can't be helped. That's my fault. That is not true. I think it is true. You can only help yourself. Thank you. I kind of just feel like I'm fucking just floating through life, waiting to die. <laughs> How do we find a new current for you to float in? Uh, probably move countries. Okay, so like break the pattern? Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Why is it not gonna happen? Because <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Why don't you make it happen? I probably drink too much. I wouldn't drink so much if I, if I could smoke weed and not get fired from every job that I've ever tried to have. How old are you right now? 24. I turned 24 in a month. Remember I was in school still? And all the kids would fucking harass me and make fun of me about being like awkwardly silent and whatnot. Like, that was when I was going through a lot of shit. And then, uh, the doctors put me on there. So you, had, you were in that state, and then you had a stroke on top of that. We're gonna waste this entire friendship fucking talking about problems. Yeah, that's why my ex girlfriend had such a hard time trying to talk to me. <laughs> Creepin', what else is like a core part of your narrative? <laughs> There's more? Yeah, fuck it, I didn't even touch the house. But, you know, if I die tomorrow, what would you call me? I hear her. Fuck yeah, dude. A poet. I'm glad my homies on Xbox understand. <laughs> From a lot of the deaths that occurred and whatnot. What? What? What deaths? Oh, my friend. <laughs> oh no way. I lost like uh, four friends in car accidents in the last five years. Wow. Like this kid. Well, oh, not a kid. Hell. He ended up dying six years ago in a car wreck. And uh, he was like my older brother, and his wow. older brother was like my older older brother, and his mom was like my mom because I lived there for a few years. And then uh, one day, fucking, we all woke up to go to school, and uh, found this. He left his little sister a fucking note in her bedroom, and it was like a little poem. And then he drew a little leaf, and at the end of the poem was said. I'm gone like a leaf in the wind. Yeah, no, he was gone. In a car accident? Yeah, he drove off a bridge. And then I got my jaw broken because uh, I was talking about it. <laughs> what, when did you first start playing Halo? Like 2008. Halo 3? Yeah, that's the first time I started playing Xbox at all. How did Halo impact your your life back then? You gave me something. They're modding something. They don't look like it, but they're doing little modding. So that way they can win without it looking. Mi micro modding? Micro modding, that's it, yep. Halo 3 brings out the worst in, in us. I feel like it brings out the best in me. <laughs> I think so too. Whatever version of you this is, I, uh, I'm a big fan. Yo, dude, when I go to work, I don't say shit. Creepin', this is this is gonna be my last game. What are gonna be your last words? I look forward to you in five years. You'll have a little boathouse in Italy. Oh, is that where you're from? I'll come visit your boathouse one day. <laughs> Alright, bye, hobo. See what I mean? Some people go through a lot of stuff. And it inspires me to be grateful for, you know, the things I have that some people may not, you know, there's always someone that has it worse. What do you think? Leave a comment uh, what this video brought up for you uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you soon.